Welcome to my channel I aim to upload these news top 10 summaries daily. Links to all articles in the description if one grabs your attention. From the Telegraph under the main headline of Ash Barty. Tennis World No. 1. Announces shock retirement. Summary of headline article. Everyone in tennis must have stopped in their tracks on Wednesday when World No. 1 Ashley Barty suddenly announced her retirement from the sport. Less than two months after lifting the Australian Open title. At just 25, Barty was also the reigning Wimbledon champion. Having overcome Carolina Pliskova last summer in a memorable three-set final. An emotional Barty told Delacqua. I don't have the physical drive. The emotional want. And everything it takes to challenge yourself for the very top level anymore. Physically I have nothing more to give. Barty added. I'll never ever. Ever stop loving tennis. But now I think it's important that I get to enjoy the next phase of my life as Ash Barty the person not Ash Barty the athlete. This shock decision echoed other abrupt and early retirements that have been announced by previous luminaries of women's tennis. From the Guardian under the main headline of Russia-Ukraine war latest news. Humanitarian convoy seized near Mariupol. Says Zelensky. As fighting continues in besieged city, live. Summary of headline article. What term do you want to search? Search with Google. From Mail Online under the main headline of Jamaica, removing the Queen as head of state. Summary of headline article. Politicians on Jamaica are pushing for the country to become a republic within two years with a referendum being held before the end of 2022. Earlier the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge tried out a bobsleigh made for two under the watchful eye of Jamaica's latest cool runnings team. The royal visits to Caribbean nations are seen as an effort to try and dissuade other ex-British colonies, including Belize and the Bahamas, from following in Barbados' example of removing their Queen is their head of state. Opposition in Jamaica comes after the couple's tour began in controversial circumstances in Belize. The Duke also passed on the very warmest wishes from my grandmother, the Queen of Belize, on the occasion of her Platinum Jubilee. From Metro under the main headline of Putin's top spokesman refuses to rule out using nuclear weapons in Ukraine. Summary of headline article. Dmitry Peskov made the chilling remarks in an interview on CNN. Picture. Getty. Rex. Shutterstock. Vladimir Putin's spokesperson has refused to rule out the use of nuclear weapons in Ukraine in case of an existential threat to Russia. Interviewer Christiane Armanpour pushed him on whether he was convinced or confident that President Putin would not use the nuclear option. Pick.twitter.com slash Uxkunkgen. Christiane Armanpour. Et Armanpour. March 22, 2022 Russia has the largest stockpile of nuclear weapons in the world and last month. Month Putin ordered his nuclear forces to be put on high alert. The isolated despot has previously been accused of using nuclear blackmail to keep the international community from interfering in his Ukraine invasion. It's not the way a responsible nuclear power should act. Meanwhile, a security expert pointed out the remarks are not a new thing. From iNews under the main headline of what to expect from Rishi Sunak's spring statement with fuel. Duty cut and possible tax bonus. Summary of headline article. The official purpose of the statement is to present an updated forecast on the economy and public finances. But the Chancellor has been forced into going further. Sign up to get Paul War's daily politics email. With exclusive analysis every weekday evening email address is invalid. Thank you for subscribing.
This would make the statement much shorter than a full-blown budget but would imply that it contains a significant number of concrete policy announcements. Tax rates It is almost certain that the rate of fuel duty will be cut by around 5 p a liter is global. Oil prices drive up costs for drivers. Public spending Mr. Sunak has signaled that he will resist calls for significant increases in public spending. For example on defence. From the Guardian under the main headline of UK inflation hits 6.2% the highest level in three decades. Summary of headline article. Britain's annual inflation rate rose to 6.2% in February and now stands at its highest level in three decades. Figures from the Office for National Statistics showed a jump in the government's preferred measure of the cost of living from 5.5% in January. The February inflation figure for the Consumer Prices Index was higher than the 5.9% predicted by a Reuters poll of economists. Further increases in the annual inflation rate are expected as higher motoring costs triggered by Russia's invasion of Ukraine and April's increase in domestic energy prices take effect. The Bank of England said last week it expected inflation to be about 8% in April with the risk of a double-digit increase in the autumn if there is another sharp increase in the energy price cap. From Sky News under the main headline of Tornado Hits New Orleans leaving at least one dead and thousands without power. Summary of headline article. A woman has died and thousands of homes and businesses are without power after a tornado hit New Orleans overnight. Among the worst hit areas were the Lower Ninth Ward and parts of St. Bernard Parish, where the fatality occurred. Some 17,000 properties were without power in Louisiana. Almost 26,000 in Texas. And more than 11,000 in Mississippi. According to website poweroutage.us, New Orleans resident Reggie Ford told the Associated Press, I see down power lines. A church is completely destroyed. Three businesses are completely destroyed. Guy McGuinness, president of St. Bernard Parish, told WWL-TV that the parish had seen widespread damage overnight. From BBC under the main headline of P&O Ferries offers £100,000 to some sacked staff. Summary of headline article. P&O Ferries had until Tuesday at 1700 to respond to the letter from Mr. Kwarteng, in which he said that P&O Ferries appears to have failed to follow the correct process for making large-scale redundancies by not consulting with unions and notifying the government in time. From the Independent under the main headline of Toddler Killed at Home by New Dog Pictured as Family Pays Tribute. Summary of headline article. The family of a much-loved 17-month-old girl who died after being mauled by their new dog have paid tribute as she is pictured for the first time. Bella Ray Birch died in hospital from her injuries following the attack at her home in the Black Brick area of St. Helens, Merseyside, on Monday. In a statement, her family said she would never be forgotten as they asked for the space to grieve. The family of 17-month-old Bella Ray Birch said she will be sadly missed but never forgotten. Family handout, Merseyside Police. One resident said, we pulled up from school and heard screaming. At this stage, we understand the family dog they bought just a week earlier has attacked Bella Ray inside the family home. From the Guardian under the main headline of the COVID pandemic two years on, where we are now in the UK, in numbers. Summary of headline article. The UK endured several more lockdowns over the next two years as new variants emerged and cases soared, causing unprecedented disruption. In Scotland, 
the number of COVID patients in hospitals has reached its highest ever level. An estimated 1.5 million people living in private households, or just over 2% of the population, were experiencing self-reported long COVID. According to the Office for National Statistics, a separate on survey on social attitudes to the pandemic revealed that some disabled people remain concerned about the future. Hospitalizations The number of COVID-19 patients in UK hospitals has been rising throughout March and stood at 13,876 as of 18 March. According to the seven-day average figure. Many thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to get your daily notifications. Have a great day. Thank you for your support. Goodbye.